I found this booklet a few years ago. I got this booklet on the night that I gave my life to the Lord Jesus Christ. It was June 1996, and it was Billy Graham's last crusade in Minneapolis at the Metrodome. When Billy Graham spoke the word, the word of God came alive in me, and I said, yes, Lord. Fast forward about a year and a half ago, I went on my first international missions trip to the Dominican Republic. There, I met a missionary named Wayne. Wayne did AV for the mission, and he would put a microphone in our hands, and we would go out, and we would preach and teach and love the people. And it was a real stepping stone for me. Well, later, Wayne shared with me that he had worked for Billy Graham for many years. And indeed, he was at the 1996 crusade where I had given my life to the Lord Jesus. I was overwhelmed with the love of God. I said, Lord, did the man who put a microphone in Billy Graham's hand just put one in mine? God is so good. You see, we all have the same seed. We are all born of the incorruptible seed of the word of God. It's good seed and the Lord wants it to bear fruit in our lives. You know, being part of the collective choir is a lot like this story. You know, there's so many things in the natural that I can use to disqualify myself. I'm not the best singer. I'm not the best speaker. Yet I was worth sending the same man who put a microphone in Billy Graham's hand to put one in mine. You see, it's not really about us. It's not about Billy Graham. It's not about me. It's about the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord is not looking for super dupers. He's looking for his children to trust him and be willing to step out and say, yes, Lord. Hey.